life at the university uh, is, 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 I think, you know, a very interesting place because it's, it's, uh, it's a campus university, obviously, uh, but it's a campus university that's accessible to the city of Canterbury as well. So we have four colleges, they all have their own bars, they all have their own catering facilities. Wolf College itself is, is then a postgraduate only college, um, which, which fosters that uh, postgraduate research community. There's also a postgraduate room here at the University for, for School of History postgraduates, which gives you a quiet environment to study that perhaps if you don't want to be in the library or in any of the sort of communal spaces, it gives you that sort of private area where you could just sort of take a bit of time, have a coffee and do a bit of research um, sort of when you're on your way to your, or just before your seminar. There are lots of dedicated postgraduate study spaces and even a common room, so you know, it's not, not all work. Sometimes you need a place to just go and unwind a little bit. But you know, you're never short of a desk to go and, <laughs> to go and do some work at. In the centre of, of the town, there are a lot of restaurants and bars. And because of the cathedral, there's a lot of tourism. So there's a lot of, there's plenty of things to do in around Canterbury and around Kent. And obviously we're only an hour away from London and also from the continent as well. I think Canterbury is the perfect location for, uh, for campus and especially for someone studying medieval and early modern history like I'm doing. In town there's of course the cathedral and you have the possibility to actually touch manuscripts and original documents which, which is great and, um, and also the old, the old town is, is full of medieval and early modern history so for me it's great. Plus it's very close to London so if you need British Library or some other London facilities it's really very close, it's just like not even one hour from here. There's some excellent facilities here at Kent that really support my teaching. Um, in the library, for example, we have a wonderful uh, cartoon centre, the second largest cartoon centre in the world. And also, um, outside the library, within the School of History, we have, within the Centre for the Study of War, Propaganda and Society, we have a wonderful audio-visual uh, archive. The library's uh, excellent, it's, it's, uh, it's well equipped um, and it's always expanding, um, but they also have good links with um, the British Library uh, and uh, more distant libraries, so if there is anything that isn't available, it is usually available on interlibrary loan and that also goes for theses that are otherwise um, typically unavailable in, in university libraries. And one of the things that's particularly helpful is our subject librarian. She's absolutely amazing and she will help you ferret out the most obscure sources from anywhere and get that, you know, get a copy. So, you know, we're very spoiled really. 